about 4.45 this morning, we had a semi-truck carrying asphalt oil northbound on I-17, right around Dixaletta, just south of the 303. Right now, it looks like he may have fallen asleep, drifted off the right side of the road, lost control, and then crashed into the median wall. The driver was pronounced dead at the scene. Uh, and the, the challenge with this is this oil spilling on the roadway and the logistics of cleaning it up. That tanker that's on its side was hauling 6,000 gallons of the hot asphalt. It's a hazardous material because it's an elevated temperature product. In the tank, it's loaded at about 400 degrees. If we were to take measurements of it right now at the tank, it'd be about 350 coming out. And towards the end of the spill, it's still about 150 degrees hot. We've hired a cleanup contractor. What we're trying to do with the tanker itself is offload as much as we can into other tankers. So we're going to pump that tank off. The product that's, that's spilled, we're mixing sand into it to make it easier to pick up with the front end loader and haul it away. So we have less of an environmental impact. The northbound lanes were closed approximately three and a half hours. Southbound, we're talking at least another four or five hours. So this whole incident could possibly go 12 hours. I just like to have the public understand We've got a lot of crews here from the, from the tow truck units, the environmentalists, cleanup crews, DPS, ADOT, Phoenix PD. There's a lot of groups involved in this and everybody's working really well together. The goal is to open it up as quick as possible and as safe as possible. ADOT, keeping Arizona moving.